when we consider acceleration, we should also consider its counterpart, deceleration, because there's two sides to the same coin. I'm just going to write deceleration here quickly. Acceleration, because it's really related uh, items. Now, and it's all about speed and and the changes that happen to that speed. Acceleration is just a fancy word for going faster and deceleration is just a fancy word for slowing down. So that's for de definition wise. Now I'm gonna try to put some life into the formulas that you have might you might have seen or you have to work with. And uh, uh, when uh, all right formula is acceleration equals Okay, you might have seen that version and it's not finished yet. Okay, so I'm just gonna read this one acceleration or deceleration equals speed or velocity, and that's discussed in another video. Either, either one of them is good for now. So, speed over or divided by time. Okay, now the it needs a letter. It needs one letter, and that's a Greek letter delta. And it needs one more letter in a sec. So why did I put that delta there? I have another video on that. It means difference of speed. Going faster is all about difference of speed. Say you're cruising. Speed means and refers to uh, steady mo motion. Okay, say you're cruising at 20 miles per hour and then you accelerate to 30 miles per hour. From 20 you accelerate to 30 miles per hour, alright? So in this case you accelerated, you were going faster. So the difference of speed is that 30 minus 50, this, this would be your velocity final, this is your velocity initial, and you have to subtract from the final velocity, you have to subtract the initial velocity, so 30 minus 20, that's going to be 10. I'm just going to write that one there. That fraction bar means division, and one more letter is missing from the formula. That is not just time, that's elapsed time okay because time alone doesn't do much good time would be I don't know what time is it today say it's 12 zero zero 12 hours zero minutes that's the time now that doesn't help what does help is elapsed time here and the Delta indicates the business of subtraction so you have a time initial you have a time final, 12.00, zero, zero. and by the time you finished, and there's one more column there for seconds, and by the time you finished your acceleration, that would be 12.0004, zero, 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 there, sorry. So then you have to do the same thing. You take time final minus time initial, so that's going to be the difference in time is 4 seconds. So then you have your 4 seconds here. So you accelerated, you went faster by 10 miles per hour in 4 seconds. And then you just, then you just do the numbers, 10 divided by 4. Because 2.5. So your acceleration is 2.5. You went 2.5 miles per hour faster for every second. All right. Now that's not a standard unit of measurement for acceleration. I realize that, but I would I do this on a pur on purpose. I want to point out something. You have the component of time in both of them. You have hours here and seconds here. And if your speed is expressed in instead of miles per hour if it's meters per second so that meters per second replaces miles per hour now 
this part still remains meter per second per second uh, how we divide a fraction with a whole number is uh, it becomes times becomes meter per second squared there I'll shoot another video on just this story here what the heck is seconds squared you've probably seen inches squared feet squared and meters squared so what the heck is time squared but I'm telling you that's a story from fraction division but going back to acceleration and deceleration if this number is a positive number you accelerated and if this number is a negative number if you went from 30 to 20 then it's a deceleration and that would be a minus 10 and a minus 10 divided by positive 4 is gonna be a minus 2.5 okay so that's uh, what I have to say about acceleration when you're changing gearing on your motorcycle or uh, or uh, make some changes to the engine you may you may uh, make changes that will affect acceleration so that's what that's what the whole concept is about